Hi everyone, Evil Graham 93 doing a different video and I was looking over my previous videos and I saw my top 10 slasher films so I thought I'd do an additional 10 slasher films to make up to 20 because I love my slashers and also I want to give a quick shout out to Matt87 Writer I hope I got that right he recently gave me a shout out which is really kind of him so I just wanted to return the favour and that's Matt 87, um, Matt 87, Matt 87 writer, sorry, um, I hope I pronounced that right, but I'll leave these, uh, page in the description, so check him out, and thanks for doing that, Matt, so, right, I'll start things off with, I'll start from 20 down to 11, so, 20 is Child's Play, great cult classic, uh, Chucky the Killer Doll, you all know him anyway, but really good, um, quite creepy as well and an interesting story, story about that I wasn't allowed to get them until I was 18 because my mum absolutely hates Chucky so yeah uh, 19 is Friday the 13th <coughs> again another classic everybody knows this one really so I'll just move on uh, 18 is House of a Thousand Corpses. <clears throat> I guess this is kind of a slasher film, but uh, yeah, this is great. I love it. It's kind of like a modern day take on the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's great. I love Rob Zombie stuff anyway. The only thing I didn't like with him was Halloween 2. Otherwise, I like his films and his music as well. So, uh, 17 is The Hitcher. This is the original one. Uh, again, this is really creepy, atmospheric, really good. Rutger Hauer and C. C Thomas Howell play their parts brilliantly in this film. Especially Rutger Hauer. It's very creepy. Uh, really good. 16 is Wolf Creek. I think this one is really underrated. Um, really good. I can't fault it, really. Um... It says it's based on true events, but I'm not sure whether it is or not. But either way, it's still a really good film, and I really enjoyed it. And I, when I watched it, I was creeped the hell out. But um, it's a really, really good film, so I highly recommend it. Uh, what's this one? Hold on a minute. I keep forgetting what number I'm on. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Uh, 15 is the original Black Christmas. Um, again, this one's really great and creepy. Um, I kind of like the remake as much as this one but I just threw this one in because I've always um, treading on holy ground with the horror fans out there because um, quite a lot of the, quite a lot of people um, like this one better than the remake but yeah I think they're both really good um, again a bit of a cult classic so uh, definitely watch that one uh, number 14 is Laid to Rest. This is brilliant. I love this. Um, I've not long had it, um, but um, it's really good. Uh, really enjoyed it. It's a great atmosphere in it. And the killer chrome skull is just awesome. And um, can't wait for the second one to get a Region 2 UK release if it does. So I'll definitely be getting that. Next one is tourist trap um, as you can see I did show you this in my DVD update not long ago and I did decide to go with the original artwork but um, yeah this one's great um, this is really creepy and if you like Texas Chainsaw Massacre you will definitely love this film um, kind of reminded me a lot of it but um, yeah really really good highly recommend it if you haven't seen it it's very creepy 12 is Terror Train. Um, highly enjoyed this one. It's absolutely great. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis stars in this one, but I suppose all the horror fans out there know about this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's really good. Um, it deserves to have a better release than this, I have to say. Like, I don't know, like a Arrow release or something. So, um, yeah, really good. I enjoyed it. And the last one, number 11, and I guess 
people will, be, will know which one this is because I think I've mentioned it in my other top 10 slashes. The number 11 is My Bloody Valentine, the original. Again, this is another really good one and it just scraped out on getting in the top 10. But um, yeah, this is really good. Everyone knows about this one of Harry Warden, the miner. Um, it's a brilliant film. This isn't the uncut one, this is uh, the cut version, so. Yeah, but it's really good, another, no, nevertheless, so. Awesome, awesome, so. Right, that was it, so I hope you enjoyed the video, really, and um, again, uh, massive thanks to Matt87Writer for giving me a shout out, so definitely check out his channel as well, so. I guess I'll see you all later. Oh, and feel free to leave any comments and stuff or ask for any videos as I'll get around to doing them. So, see you all later. Bye.